Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for Chapter 13 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, 2nd Edition. So in this video, what we're going to do is look quickly at running an ordered probit. In the previous video, we looked at ordered logit. Now we're going to do ordered probit. So just like in the binary outcome model case, uh, the only difference between ordered logit and ordered probit is the assumption made about the error distribution. So again, the ordered logit assumes the errors follow a logistic distribution, while the ordered probit assumes the errors follow a normal distribution. Um, the differences that, that we discussed in the binary videos and, and discussed in the chapter apply here as well. So I'm going to come up here. This is what we did in the previous video. I'm going to steal this code. Again, always good practice. And I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to save the model not as model O logit. We're going to do a model O probe it. O probe it. We're still going to use this polar function, P-O-L-R, and we're going to change the method from logistic to probit. So let's highlight that and run it. Okay, so the output is the same, or, or sorry, it looks the same as we had for ordered logit. Um, again, we don't have the stars and everything, so we're looking at the t-value, absolute value um, of, of roughly 2. All right, and so as expected, we have the same kind of overall conclusion that RefVote and Scott are statistically significant and both have a negative effect on uh, trust in the British government. Okay, so just a real quick one here, um, just showing just showing how to how to run an ordered probate. So thanks for watching and see you next time.